Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial. In this video we'll be looking at how to use sound and how we can add some basic sound interaction into our Spark AR scene. Now it's important to note that Spark AR at the time of producing this video only accepts M4A format in a mono channel. So please bear that in mind that you'll need to first convert your audio, if you haven't already done so, into an M4A mono format. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import my M4A file. So I'm just going to find one I've converted earlier, like so. And if all is correct and it's set as a mono channel, you should get it imported like so as an audio clip and the name of your file down below. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to our assets and click on our little plus icon. And we now need to in, uh, create a new audio playback controller. Like so. So what this will do is this will basically allow us to control when our audio plays or stops within our scene. So with the audio playback controller selected, I go over to my properties and my audio uh, level, and I want to change that to the M4A file I've just brought in, like so. Now I've got these two assets imported, I can now go up to my scene and insert a speaker. And with my speaker selected, I can now go to my audio under properties and make sure that that is linked to my audio playback controller that I've just created. Now that I'm here, I can now adjust the volume uh, and whether it's audible or not. For now, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit because I do know this audio clip is a little bit on the loud side. So now what I want to do is now control when our audio plays. So to do that, I'm going to click on my playback controller. I'm going to click on this little circle next to the play button to bring up our editor to make things a little bit easier for uh, speed reasons. And within my patch editor, if I right click and add in a screen tap like so, so this will mean every time my screen is tapped, I want it to perform a function. So I'm going to link the tap function to a switch, which will kind of toggle between an on or off or kind of pulse effect. So I want to insert that, like so. And now for my on and off, I want to drag again. And from here, I now want to add a pulse. This will now separate our on and off switch into our two on and off uh, properties in our pulse value. So now all I need to simply do is whenever my screen is tapped, it will activate this switch, which will send a pulse to say this is now turned on, therefore play. And likewise, if my audio player controller selected and I click on the little circle next to stop to add my uh, second control, but this time with the stop option, I just link up my turned off to my stop like so. And now within my preview window, if I go into my simulate touch option and now tap my screen, the audio now should play. If I tap again, it should stop. So you can see down here, it's a little pulsing between the two. Uh, if I want my audio to loop after I've played it, I'll just simply select this little option here. And then once the audio is finished its first playthrough, it just continue on. Whereas at the moment, if it was once it's finished its first playthrough, it would just simply stop waiting for future tapping, essentially. So that's a very basic overview and introduction into using audio within Spark AR. And there's some interesting things you can do with this. You can link this up to animated sequences. So in essence, you can work around the limitations of not being able to currently bring in video formats, for example, uh, other than using external sources. Uh, so that's just basically a very quick overview. Um, because it's a mono channel, please bear in mind the audio quality will suffer a little bit. So bear that in mind when producing your sound. Thank you for watching.